Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, we are going to be looking at how we do this drawing. And this drawing shows the involute of a given square. Now the involute for any plane figure is the locus of a point that rolls around the figure without sliding. Alright, without sliding or slipping. So this curve right here shows the involute for the square. Alright, so we're going to do this drawing now using AutoCAD and it is a very simple drawing. So we're going to start with the square, alright, and we're going to make the sides of the square uh, 25 millimeters. So let's do that. Alright, so select, we can select a rectangle right here or you can type rectangle. Click a place to start and then make this type 25 comma 25 enter. All right, and here we have our rectangle. Now, to get our first curve, we are going to do this. Select a line, and from this point here, we are going to draw a line, as you can see in this drawing, this line right here. This is the line we are going to draw so that we can get this curve right here, the curve that shows radius R. All right, so let's do that. So. We're going to draw this line and we're going to make this line 25 all right so that line is 25 so it's an extension of this all right so from here to this point here the total distance would be 50. so now we're going to select arc and we're going to select start center end here all right and the name is start center end so we click where we want to start we want to start at this point this would be the center here and we want to end right there so that's our arc, all right? So that's our first point done. So now we want to get to our next point, which is radius R2, R2, R, sorry. So right here. So to do that, this is what we're going to do. So the reason why this is R is because this shows that this is the radius of like one side of the square. Well, this um, two R is like the radius for two, um, two times one side of the square. And this is the radius for three times that. All right, so let's get this um, curve right here. So to do that, we are going to draw a line from here. And since it's 2R, we're going to, instead of making it 25, we're going to make it 50. So type 50 and press enter. All right, good. And ensure that you have ortho turned on so, so that you get a completely vertical line. All right, so select arc again, start center end. And we're going to start here. The center is going to be here and we're going to end there. So there we have our second point. So that is um, 2R. So now the only thing left for us to get is 3R. And this is 3R right here. All right. And if one, if R was 25, 2R is 50. That means that 3R3, R3R three, R is going to be 75. All right. So just select a line. And from here, we're going to draw this line 75 millimeters. Good. And then select arc again. Start center end. So we can start here. This is the center. And we end right there. All right. And just like that, we have the involute for our square. All right. And in completing the drawing, you would just label the different parts label the different parts like um, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. You wouldn't have to put these arrows that shows the radius. This is just for teaching purposes. All right. So it's a very simple drawing. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found the video helpful, you can drop a like and you can subscribe for more technical drawing and AutoCAD content. Thanks for watching and do have a wonderful day.